We're going to dine together. Hello, boys. Good to see you again. Yeah, we're going to dinner. We're going to... Well, we have a mixture of appetizers, meat and two veg, and then sauce. Or goat. Okay. Uh, and all flavoured by goat, as you've <laughs> noticed. The first thing the boys did was smell this desk, and it really does hum. I apologise. <laughs> and uh, you, nobody goes home empty-handed. You'll go home covered in these goat hairs. So something to, uh, to remind, uh, remind uh, you of us. Uh, okay, first... First part, appetizers to anyone. These are the sort of boring questions that your rugged company would like us to ask. <laughs> tour. Don't ask them then. <laughs> okay, uh, no, we've got to ask them. You know, your tour because you're touring with ultrasound. That is a bill from heaven, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's kind of like it's it's fat freak show, thin freak show, um, <laughs> and uh, but it, it is a kind of a freak show thing. And um, yeah, that starts on Thursday, the eighth, and the album's out on the twelfth. And uh, are you going to go to Ireland with that? Is that not yet? No. That's no. just a, like a. A UK thing. That's yeah, just a, a next UK year. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Ireland next year. So many people from Ireland watching. Yeah. If, yeah you, if you want to blame anybody, blame our agent. He's Irish. <laughs> oh right. Okay. All right then. Moving on. Here we go to a meat and two veg. Oh, funnily enough, Dublin. There is so much love. <laughs> Dublin. There's a load, a load of love for us in uh, in Dublin, and that's where you recorded your first album, right? That's correct. Yeah. Um, is there a lot of love for for Dublin from you? There was a lot of Guinness drunk uh, <laughs> of course. In, in Dublin, but we, we did 12 hour a day, seven days a week, so kind of thing. We were trying to get it all done in about three weeks, so um, we didn't do very much hanging out. They'd love to so, go out. You go, did, did you not go out? You were just working the whole time. Yeah, we just we noticed that in Temple Bar, every door were these either filled with people snogging, pissing, or puking. That's it. They all wanted to snog doorway. me and puke on me, actually, when I was there. Can it was you, fit. Can you blame It was them? incredible. <laughs> all right, then. Okay, here we go to the sauce. Oh, I love this one. Diamonds are forever, <laughs> boys. Viagra. Okay, we've got to talk about it, because everybody else does. Uh, have you taken it yet? No. Do you want it? Well, it's kind of expensive, really. And um, somebody I know took one, had sort of had an erection for about 16 hours. And I don't, I don't know if really kind of... That's if, called if it's, if it's very practical. Really. That's called pra is there anybody? Is there anybody in tonight's audience that's taken Viagra? <laughs> I, I think we have somebody over there, actually. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, okay. Then nobody's admitting it. I actually know that one of these people has taken it, but uh, they're not admitting it. So I'll, I'll quote his wife, though. His new wife. It took a shotgun to get rid of it. There you go. All right, then. Here we go. Okay. Uh, from the appetizers pot, new single. Rhythm Digital Mix on there. I haven't heard that yet. Uh, it's very, very it's good. It's uh, kind of the best remix that's ever been kind of done of our, of our stuff. And uh, it's just very cheeky and chirpy and sort of Ibiza-like. Yeah. Uh, how did it come yeah. about? Because, Steve, I know you're a big hip-hop fan. Mm -hmm. is, so is that, uh, is that how, you know, did you go, oh, I want Rhythm Digital to... I didn't know anything about it. It just turned up. <laughs> oh, fair <laughs> enough. All right. Then I was just trying to, you know... Uh, okay, right, Steve knew nothing about it. <laughs> I met Jack at V97 and he just seemed like a nice bloke, really. You know, so he never actually heard anything by the time that he did it. He's put a lot of work into it, it's good. It's like the most original one we have yet. It's really good. It's superb. A thing on its own, really. He's taking it somewhere else. Cool, good beats, because obviously you are, you are the beat master of PC. It feels really awesome. Yeah, it's coming, the 80s coming back, definitely. You, know, you can really tell he's, he grew up in the 80s. And, yeah. He's into his breakdance and electro yeah. pop yeah. and stuff. You oh, know, well, we're big fans of freestylers. We like a bit of a breakdancing on this show. Mm. Didn't everyone away? All right, then. Meet and two veg. What's going to come out of the pot? Festivals. You did Glastonbury. Everybody in the music business says festivals are dead. I don't reckon so. I mean, you did Glastonbury. What do you reckon? One this year. People are getting a bit so freaked out because, like, free. sort of, they sold four thousand tickets for the Lighthouse Family, and sort of, like, you know, people who buy Lighthouse Family records don't go to a muddy field, you know, and watch and and, and watch bands, basically. Um, I don't think so. I mean, Glastonbury was particularly muddy again this year, but it was it was kind of fun. Um, it was the only one that we did. Really. We went to V ninety eight in Reading. Reading rocked. It was great. Your presence was missed. Well, we were in America. Last question. We were in New York. Last question. So. Thinking about you. Oh, sweet, <laughs> sweet. Um, okay, your last, the last, uh, the last question. Uh, actually, uh, it says a friend with weed here, but I'm going to steer clear of that one. Um, it's because uh, we're pressed for time. Your video choice. We've had a bit of a, um, we've had a bit of a disaster with this, right? We asked you to play, to pick a video, right? And you picked first. You uh, picked Come to Daddy. Come to Daddy by, by the Apex Twin. Twin. Yeah, they're too scared to play it. Well, we're not too, we love to play it. It's by Chris Cunningham. It is our favorite video, uh, but it's illegal for us to play it. We, yeah, no, okay, guilty as charged. 
you know, we asked everybody, you know, we, we were going to play it, but we cannot play it because it is illegal. And I know we know they're watching and they will fine us like so, so much money if we play it. So given that we can't play Apex Twin by, uh, by Apex Twin, uh, Come to Daddy, what uh, can we play? Nikki Chess. Well, yeah, it's, um, I think it's going to be the Cardigans and... Uh, Swedish thing. Oh, how far away from the Apex Twin can you possibly get? <laughs> or the sides, sides in, the, in the green room, you know, and uh, yeah, it's we, a good bit. We particularly like the bit where her tattoo comes off on the front seat of the car. Smudges everywhere. Oh, okay, right. Well, uh, we'll now uh, witness the leading of the Cardigans smudging her tattoo courtesy of placebo. Ladies and gentlemen, go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 